Hey everyone, in the last video I showed you how to take apart a DXR8 baby monitor. Um, once it is taken apart, if you haven't seen that and you need to get to that step, check out the video uh, that I'll include the link below. But once you've taken that apart, there's a few things that you can do to uh, troubleshoot um, uh, any issues you might have. In this case, I had an issue where the power button was lost its springiness and it was permanently stuck so I couldn't really turn on the baby monitor. So what I ended up doing, and this is actually the final result, but I can, it's easy to recreate here. What I ended up doing is I got, uh, as you can see, there's a little spring there that is just a piece of a pen, uh, a pen spring. So I got, if you can see that there, the little spring that comes inside a ballpoint pen, and I just kind of cut it, just about two loops in there. Because um, the issue was that that's the power button, uh, and this was not bouncing back so all i did was i kind of got this little piece and put the bottom tip there towards the back and oh there you go and then what i did is i just kind of insert this button underneath these two little lips and once i put that in i now had a spring to my step in a sense <laughs> so now this button pops right up and it was able to fix that as opposed to replacing this i guess you know 70 dollar monitor hopefully that's helpful for you